22 riders, reduced to 20. Green flies, he's got that bike absolutely flying. Marquez did not get away well. One of the First corner, the new Yamaha whole shot device working a dream. The whole shot then, they've got a brilliant launch off the line with the Cathy's whole shot device. Ran a bit wide in the first corner. He's finial, he's got the start he wanted. The start he drew. The world champion, Mark Marquez, all still there. Heading down now into turn six. The soft front tire will not give you straight up and down break. Vinales and Rossi have gone for it. It's Quattararo. Now Miller has got his eyes set firmly on the washing her early to try and make that that gap that he wanted to do, he did it in Sepang, he said, he's got that rear tyre, Maverick out the seat. Mark Marquez were on board with three, the Vinales will surely lead at the end of lap one. Problem now for Fabio Quattararo, Jack Miller. So Fabio Quattararo has got a bit of a conundrum here because Miller and the Ducati through. Well, Fabio Quattararo was wide again there into turn one and he's lost another place. That's now. So this is the moment on board with world champion Marquez. Marquez had to roll out of it. Now then, Fabio Quattararo trying to use a bit of a curveball. He's never going to though. Get by. Want to learn how to start in a MotoGP race? Don't look at Marquez. Don't look at Vinales. Don't look at Quattro. Look at Bradley. Five places. He's one behind Rossi into eleventh. Yeah, Rossi check. He's in tenth place now. Then got the South African fans. You have got a new hero to be roaring on in 2020. And Quattro. He had to get that done. Brilliantly done. But he's run it wide and. Oh. Can it get any worse for the factory Suzuki team? Alex Rins out through injury after on the floor at turn nine. Horror show for Suzuki. Yeah. It's just a weekend to forget for Brivio. And in this shortened season, 13 races. Corner. Though, there was another gap and Maverick said thank you very much. This is brilliant stuff here from Maverick. Since mid-November last year, Marquez strikes back again on the brakes into the Pedrosa Corner. On this lap number three, Marquez and Mignal has exchanged the lead three times. Well, you'd hear an eruption of noise coming into this section of the circuit, but of course you're just cheering for the Quattararo oh. all away from Banyaya in fifth, and then it's Dovi. A little bit to our expected oh, form. The Look corner speed Vignales. of the Yamaha. Yeah, late break is such a deal on the front end. It looked like, to all intents and purposes, already these tricky on the gravel trap. One corner further, Alexis Spargo got turn 10 for the Aprilia man, so all really trying to pull away from Maverick Vinales. He knows he's there. He's got to try and break his job so far. The big question for Ducati and Miller, though, is can they last distance? A phenomenal way of starting 2020. A quick check on Brad Binder again. This is Orbidelli, Rossi and Petrucci behind him. Motor 2 world champion, one of the best. We so hard for him not to make mistakes in his first ever Moto GP race, but this is class so far. Do you know what? I think, mate, the pace not good enough. If this is Maverick's rhythm early on, I'm going. I'm going to try and get in response at the moment to Marquez. Mark already, he was lethal in the third. On the uh, outside on the green stuff, and that again. moment. Yeah, and he knows as well, if he pushes the pace, ups his rhythm, he's done the fastest lap of the race more. Marquez is thinking all the time, isn't he, about how he can exploit the oh, he's, he's gone! gone! He's gone! We Marquez! lost sight to Marquez! He's, he's stayed on board! Oh, the rear going oh into turn my four. goodness me, drama here in the opening race! He's trying air in front of Maverick Vinales. Where on earth had Mark Marquez gone? Off the circuit. Oh, look at that. Back to his old trips. Welcome back to MotoGP, Mark Marquez on the elbow of gravel. Brilliant reactions, brilliant reflexes. Lin Jarvis can't believe him. Dirty tyres, he does not care one iota. Simon, your thoughts on that, please? Terrifying, there's no room. You know, it's very, very similar to the first turn. In Just too over-eager to get away and make the break. I don't know, you can ask me on board. I don't know, I mean, that, that's, that can be a career-ending corner there. That's, that's in 16th, and he's now trying to get through the points. He's made another error yeah, there. He, he, he's, he's struggling. Opportunity knocks for Maverick Vinales to his title contenders and rivals Alex Rins, not even in the race, injured. And Mark Mark, cat like reflexes of the world well, champion. He's not human. No. He, he's not, honestly, he's not no. human. I can tell you, there is a pricked up in a big, big way. How is, how's that soft front tyre going to hold up for, Ma for Maverick Vinales? It's a I, I cannot believe what we've witnessed already in this short time. It, that was true. Stages of this 2020 season. My goodness, here comes Fabio Quattararo. He wants to hold off. Brilliantly done from the Frenchman. Yamaha a 1-2 again. Quattararo. The line cut to the middle of the track, so Jack Miller could try and blitz by him again with the superior. He's had about 12 kilometers an hour over Fabio Quattararo. That's worrying for him, he said, going to... You're going to see... Everybody else might as well pack up. Pack, yeah, right. just pack up and let's just call it a day there. He is a track lead. He's pushing so, so hard to try and get away. Simon. Guys, the other thing.
to compose himself before he hit the gravel and he and he controlled it in there as well filthy dirty tires as well uh, there's nothing the guy can't do on two wheels well i mean we'll be looking at the killer saves but you can put that one right up there do you know that the, the fascinating oh. fact now man, he's not going to be forced into trying to go for the 37s that's the only thing that's in his advantage now oh, shame. To Brad he was going to where has Brad Binder disappeared to? This Maverick Vinales looking for his first victory in MotoGP. Mark Marquez, and he's cutting the gap to those ahead of him as well. Well, he's the fastest man on the side. He's going to be gobbling up Lecuona, Petrucci and Oliveira very, very quickly. Now look at this. The pace has been slowed down to the yeah. late 138. And this is because Maverick's thinking about preserving... The problem is, Matt, is it brings all these guys into contention. I mean, the yeah. likes of Miller, Banyan, we're in shot here for a podium. Valentino yeah. Rossi's struggling a bit. There's a big gap between... More At the moment, he's been able to keep Andrea De Vizioso at bay for the whole of this... It's now eight. He's totally rolled out of it, hasn't he? Totally. Ica Lecuona. Can I just say... If, if this pace remains at mid-130... ...and six. Is it something? I think Mark Marquez, with a pace like this, could still make the podium. Man. The ride of a lifetime. That's what such happened at turn four. I'm between the hard and the soft, but so unusual to see... I mean, if, if it pays off, you look like a genius. If it doesn't... Here is Maverick out front. This is not squeaky clean. This is not Sepang. And this here, he's not close enough to make a move. And again on the front there, look at that. He's wide in there. And Fabio Quattararo, has he made the big mistake? He's shaking his head there. He's dropped back to third place. Is Fabio there anything? The front after that mistake by Vinales. Miller in second. Marquez Contu. They head over the crest down into turn two. In MotoGP is Marquez. I mean, He's ridiculous. And he's already put a decent bit of daylight between himself. It could have been worse. Because keeping tabs on that top three. Our Bagnaia. There's nothing wrong with that. He was the fastest rider of the top six on that last lap. Well, just to try and get that bike stopped. The speed of that KTM has always been there right from the start in 2017. What they've not had away in the past. A wheel spin city on a KTM in these hot conditions normally. But in these track conditions. Paulus Bargro fades really well. You're here, you just never know. I mean, it's so hard to predict what's going to happen based on what's happened already. Well, that would be sense. Slightly more moist and cool the conditions I seem to recall in 2018. Just, just a bit, yeah. Everything <laughs> obviously went wrong. He must have gone down and rejoined, you'd think. Maneuver around. Valentino Rossi has done a 139.3. That's on par with. So, at this stage of the race, Rossi has actually found some pretty good rhythm. Mm. He's up in ninth place at the moment that's really good from the red bull tech three rider well and truly hit the brick wall he's down at the 140s now smith he's plummeted down he's doing low 139s himself which is the as well in the meantime fellow rookie Ika Lekawona's in 12th he's having a great ride marquez fastest lap of the race 38 372 he's in they would need to drop really hard down into 39 it's a bonus for him just to be in the race at this stage after that moment of turn. I think last thing really like predicting the future when it comes to MotoGP. I mean, look at him. He's up behind Miguel Oliveira here, who's in ninth. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I'll be hearing Le Marcier for the first time. Yeah, since what, 19? Marquez at all, he had no choice. Well, yeah, get out of my way. There was a big uh, orange and red motorcycle. Fire was his last lap. He's on for second place. Sorry to say at this stage for Vinales fans, it looks like but he dips into the 39s, not as quick as Miller, nowhere near as quick as Quattro. Okay, yes, Fabio Quattararo's oh. on a 2020 bike. Rossi's same, he's a donner, and he's just had to witness him go through. Rossi and Vinales can't get, cannot get it stopped. And of course, when you're in that group, a lot of issues as well. Now, Fabio Quattararo is never going to have a better chance to Perhaps a little bit earlier, Paul Espargaro. Ruthless uh, by Paul Espargaro. That's why Repsol Honda picks him up for an extra corner and picks off the KTM with the extra horsepower. So Paul Espargaro's got to do all the moment. He's finally got into some rhythm. It took him long enough, though. Struggled in the early laps. Did the... He can do exactly what the Yamaha needs to do. Just run that real high corner. It's better corner speed and edge grip than the KTM and the Ducatis, but you can't utilise it. The car go really, really comes Franco Morbidelli, but he's got the inside line as Polis Butcher. Mark Marquez, number 93 in eighth book. Performance by Marquez, what a recovery. There is Marquez, then just at the top of your picture. 
Here is Davizioso now going through on Peko Bagnaia, and we said that Davizioso through to the podium. Funny old game, motorcycle racing, isn't it? June 28, here we are, two years later, on the brink of becoming a controlling Vinales back in third. Vinales got nothing for him. He's about a second, he's got his hands on it. Fabio Quattararo suffered heartbreak here last year. He's on the podium five times last year, the Australian. All of them on the third. That would be astonishing. Pepco Bagnaia is really struggling a bit here now. The last year, a now it's the turn of Franco Morbidelli. Brilliant performance this by Jack Miller. He's in. We heard pre-race that they had big expectations for him. He rider Jack Miller. He's given the go hands now. Surely he's not going to let it slip through his grasp. Mark's pace these guys but in terms of the amount of time left and the amount of time he's eating away from Fabio Quattararo because it's he who takes the chequered flag first that's your race winner you've got a mark in front of him it's hard to say he isn't keeps it? hitting those mid to high 138s doesn't he Quattararo eek away from Jack Miller you can see that's the difference there between himself and Mark Marquez you surely can't see Fabio Quattararo letting Mark Marquez recover seven second stake Marquez though you know right he's looking potentially at the podium more with Eddie Bagnaia, Espargo and Davizioso. But right now, with the time he's got in his palace, well, it would sting a lot because he's now right on the tail of Frank. Left here in the opening race of 2020. Mark Marquez, if you're just tuning in, he was leading this race and it was here at turn four where it looked like he was down his way back through. And at the moment, he's right on the tail of Morbidelli in seventh. Well, it looks like he's that amazing podium record going. He's going to pick off Franco Morbidelli in the braking zone into turn number six. So you'd think that Marquez will be making light work very, very soon. Mark Marquez, he takes all the room needed. Well, this is like a PlayStation game. Is Gobanyaya struggling a little and Pecco then trying to return? Well, he, he loves the psychological walk into the gravel trap at turn four. Probably thought, well, that's Mark. He's on the podium. Unless he makes another mistake, he's on the podium because these guys in front of him can't live. Across the line we go. Let's see how far away. He's only six seconds off the lead at the moment. As it stands, Fabio Quattararo is riding beautifully out front. The thing is, Matt, he doesn't have to now push the boat out. He doesn't need to chase last 12, his last ever Moto2 race, when he was pushed to the back of the grid for a, a penalty GP. This is a completely different ball game. If he comes through to salvage a podium here... So they, they showed a, uh, a split of only two tenths that Fabio's losing, you know, because, you know, Fabio's in, in lead of the race, trying to do everything perfect, no to recover something from the race, and uh, if, if stage of the race. Never a more true word spoken by for Mark Marquez, but, you know, you can't really say what more Fabio had in the tank because he cut away. Marquez is going to make mincemeat of these guys in front of him. His last lap was a 38 sinners. Well, it, I don't... Lo it looks like Miller as well is covered nibble. Oh, Valentino Rossi, what's happened to him? Front tyres are covered in dirt, that's for sure. As Marquez here goes through on his teammate for 2020 and Paul Espargo, new teammate for next year. No, we're old foes, let's be honest. Davizioso will not believe his eye. So his long dis distinguished career. And he's going to have salt rubbed into the experience to have Mark Marquez come by him and then go for Vinales and Miller. Here's Miller. Davizioso out. Vinales takes second place back from Miller. It's all and surely for the podium. He holds on to fourth place. By the way, la fastest rider on the last lap in the entire field was Brad Binder. Sensational with a capital S. No other word for it. What up of five seconds clear with six laps to go, but it's the 2020. It gets a lot harder to overtake as you go the number 93. It's whether or not they've got anything in the tank to offer it. Retire. Potential mechanical problem, not the way the world championship Here we go, it. here we go, into the final corner, he lines it up, he's got the... You can almost hit it, he says, OK, well you can work for it. Block pass, that was a bit sweet. Marquez, you just knew that was coming. You pass Marquez, you better make it stick. The very next Looks like resistance is futile for the Australian. Marquez then now starts as well. No points off of the day at this stage of the race. This is just simply a start. second place here. At the very start of this race, Maverick Vinales was the man. He's forced his way through. And it is when you get Mark Marquez angry, this is what happens. I have to take it off. I mean, I'm almost speechless.
gobsmacking in Brunico. He's four laps away from securing his first ever MotoGP victory. And you know what? Let's have another look at this then. Frank was twitching a bit. He was thinking about having um, Vignali. Last time he high sided, of course, what was that at the end of last year? Oh, Blimey, God, that's a hot. For Mark Marquez. How many more talking points do you Oh, he looks hurt there. He looks really hurt. Yeah, he does. I mean, is there something wrong with that right arm? Previous with shoulders, hasn't he? I it? cannot believe this race. Wow. Is it extraordinary? Like that. That's going to hurt. Guys, you know, it, it's also sad to. Is one of the best performances I've ever seen. Look, at the moment, though, look at Polis Bargaro. All of a sudden, Polis Bargaro sees a dry podium. Rose to lose. He's at home and dry here with three laps to go. What a time in his MotoGP career. Horrible crash. And he got nudged by the bike for good measure oh, as well. His shoulder will a bit. Sorry, Sai. Didn't deserve this after a truly heroic performance. Here we go, then. Um, said that this was going to be one of the most intense and physical battles for MotoGP riders. Join these guys on the podium. Fabio Quattararo, these two laps were 13th, having been 25 seconds adrift. I mean, Deserves there's a so point. many. Only five days since we last saw these MotoGP boys going hard at it. We wonder if it'd be worth him as Andrea De Vizioso fires up the inside of oh! Jack Miller. Oh! Dicey Town, Miller versus Mormodelli. How did Mormodelli stay on board that Yamaha? He's is. Now, Andrea De Vizioso, after all the pandemonium here at the Andalusian venue, what a damage limitation job that would be. For next season would ramp up the pressure ramp up the intensity to perform. About to be taken to the medical centre in an ambulance. We wish all three of them well. Quattararo is about to add his... Diego Kivellini there doesn't know what to do with him. Month absence. Where do you start to pick the bones out of this one? This team have been sensational. Fabio Quattararo was born in April 1999. 20 he was the last <laughs> Frenchman to win a MotoGP race on Spanish soil in Valencia. Wins his first ever Grand Prix in MotoGP. Bobby is third, Miller is fourth and Morbidelli fifth. The 20 will anthem for the first time in 21 years ago and here they are now celebrating the With Wilco airbag. guys we gotta hear from him Wilco what do you think of that yeah what is your victory for Fabio you sound calm but how is that putting uh, yeah we are over the moon congratulations I think in the joy and jubilation yeah. Good oh, yeah they're absolutely extraordinary especially when he hears that national anthem you're right he set his airbag <laughs> off there like it hasn't actually sunk in what's just happened here in the opening round of 2020 Being running through a shot to what's just happened here no one could kill what a way to start 2020 and we should <laughs> just again send our moment in time so we wish him well but this has yeah. just been one of the most